Hello guys, hello. Just a wee quick video on my phone. Uh, hopefully it'll not be too shaky. Look, we're shaking about. We're going to be doing a wee bit of hammering maybe and banging, but nothing major, don't get me wrong. I remember I was on the other week here talking about these wee XC motors. Well, the wee XC are actually brilliant. And like I say, I did. I had a crash and it broke, uh, I think it was this arm. I'm going to have to check it. This back right or back left, whatever shape you want to call it, depending on what way you're looking at it. Well, whenever it crashed, it broke that arm anyway, and they actually smacked the, the nut, smacked the ground. I think what happened was the nut smacked it, broke the prop and all that time. It was quite a big smash on the tarmac. And uh, anyway, the bell seems to be fine, but uh, I've noticed there now, there's a wee bit of noise in that motor, a wee bit of, so it feels like grit. And I've had the motor apart, it's in the bearing, and uh, got a new set of bearings. Uh, 10 bearings, going to replace the bearings in this wee motor. Uh, that's the Xing 2207 uh, motor and these wee bearings, they're actually easel bearings. They, they are proper easels, I ordered them locally uh, from a guy, Rotary Bearings in Duncree in Belfast. And they were uh, 16 quid for 10 of them, for 10 of these wee bearings. And these are, uh, what are they again, 684ZZ easel. 684ZZ and that ZZ stands for the wee metal seal. They're actually a dust seal. It's not a waterproof seal. It's just a wee dust cap on the side of the bearing. And I'm just going to quickly spin this up and beat a flight if I can. Motors tab. I'll need to put the battery in and let you hear it. Right, okay. So there we go. And that is motor number three. Oh no, it's not. Where are we? It's one. Hear it? One, two, what was that? Right, I'm going to replace all these bearings eventually, but this wee video. That one there is the worst, so we're going to replace that one. What one was that again? One. And it seems to be, now I can't show you, but also on uh, Beta Flight, whenever I'm spinning the motor up, that seems to be the one that is, uh, the axis is vibrating on. I'm not in close enough. Oh, it's not doing it. Anyway, that one is the one that's giving me a wee bit of trouble. And I notice it, it doesn't seem to do it all the time, but I notice it whenever I'm flying. I'll be flying okay and then the next thing I get a wee tiny twitch and it just doesn't feel right and I think it's coming from this motor. I think it's the bearings are sending the vibrations up into the board even though we're all insulated and uh, rubber dampers and stuff in there. So we'll just completely unplug that all together and we'll get the wee screwdriver right if I can find it all here. Uh, where are you? I don't think that's the right one. Probably not. Yeah it is. So anyway, like I say, we're going to take the motor off and replace these wee bearings. Order the bearings online. I think if you look up a lot of FPV shops uh, for the Jones and stuff, a lot of FPV shops, uh, the, the wee bearings are about a pound more than what you would pay for them. So if you need a wee set of bearings, they're uh, 9mm uh, outer diameter, 4mm inner diameter and 4mm thickness. And my advice is if you're looking for a wee set of bearings, uh, have we look at actual bearing stockists and bearing suppliers, like trade suppliers and stuff like that, and you'll normally be able to find that you should be able to get them for a couple of dollars off or a couple of pounds if you're in England or around Greece or whatever, a couple of pounds off the actual price of the bearings. If you go somewhere local who has actually an account with the likes of Ego or Ezo and stuff like that. So that's the motor off. I'm hoping I can change these bearings here. They're in there. I'm hoping I can change them without actually having to uh, take the motor off the frame. I don't think I'll need to. You know, I really don't think I'll need to do that. But the, the plan is, we'll try and get this motor, we'll get the bell off. Here, the motor just comes out of the bottom there dead easy. The screw comes out. 
and hopefully the bell will come off with the spacer and rubber there's a wee o-ring damper in there some there's a wee o-ring damper and a spacer in there some motors might have a wee sort of like a washer but it's like bent looking and it's actually a spring washer and that just takes there's a wee bit of play there's always going to be a wee bit of play in the bell pressing down on the bearings to stop it locking the bearing up so there you can see you got one bearing on this side here if you can see that one nice wee bearing in there and another wee bearing in the bottom there so the plan of attack is hopefully I'll be able to knock these wee bearings out here without too much problem I'm just going to look for a wee screwdriver or something yeah. I probably should have had this all ready you know too big that's actually nearly spot on the size. You're looking for like a wee screwdriver to go in. You're looking for something to go down through the inside of the bearing until you can feel it touching the inner uh, the inner ring on the, the bearing below it, the bottom bearing. I did have a wee tool one time. Just give us a minute by the hook of my messy drawer. So maybe something like this here. That's a hex driver, but it's an old one. And the idea is to go down and through the centre of the bearing till you stop and you can feel the middle bit of the bearing below it. And I'm hoping with a little bit of brute force <laughs> we should be able to tap this bearing out here I'm hoping it'll come out so we'll see yeah and it nearly out Ta -da! and there we go one bearing out that came out pretty easy so that's one bearing we'll keep a good one over to the side Build one over there. So it's one bearing out now, the one bearing's at the bottom. And then we're gonna to have to try and get the other one at the top. So we'll turn the motor over. And I know this isn't great, you can't really see it really well what I'm doing here. But in there, see the bearing? And then we'll try and get this on somewhere like that around the bearing around the edge of it. On the other one, and we'll do the same thing. Hopefully without causing any damage. This one feels a wee bit tighter, but it's moving. And you maybe don't want to just go on the one side all the time. If you're tapping them out like this, don't keep tapping on the one side. Tap on the left side and then tap on the right side. Tap on the left and so on. And then look at that bearing, you can actually see that one there, that the grease has started coming out of it, and then the wee bearing actually isn't great, you know. Seen better days that wee bearing. But I have been flying this wee quad an awful lot. That's the 5S flip mode. I've been flying it an awful lot. It was my favourite. It still is my favourite. But because it was starting to sort of go a wee bit funny, I could notice the vibrations in it. And that's why I haven't flown it until I've got new bearings. So, right. So, as we all know, the outer diameter of this bearing is 9 millimetres. And the inner bore is four millimeters and the thickness is four millimeters. So you're probably going to want to get so now we've got the bearing and we're going to try and push it in as much as we can by hand. I wonder should I get that a wee bit in there? Yeah. Get a wee bit of tissue, just my give it in here a wee clean. In there, a wee clean. On this side. A wee clean. There you go. And then there's a new bearing, so we'll try and push the new bearing in a bit by hand. I know you can't see it too well, sorry, but there's it there. And it is tight, it is going to be tight, so what we need to do now is we're going to get something else. And we're looking for something roughly the same size as the bearing. Let's do a double check. Not big. Probably end up a bit bigger, a bit small. There, look. So now I have a wee socket. 
that's actually a six mil socket and if you look at it the bearing it's almost the same diameter maybe you need to go a wee bit smaller again actually to, to finish this off but now that the top motor bearing is pressed in a little bit we'll try and get that level and get something on it nice and level and just tap it in There we go. Ta -da! That's one end down flat. Now we're going to, have to try and get the other one in, but I've got to get the other one in without damaging the windings. I don't want to set the windings of the motor down flat on the ground on the table. So I'm going to look for another wee socket, but nothing too big and fancy. What have we got? Nine mil. Name is a bit too much still. And bottom end. Oh, that's a good one. There, so we've got this socket, and the plan is we'll set this now face down on top in the middle so that the windings aren't hitting the table. Get another wee bearing. But, uh, we'll try and press it in as much as we can if it'll go in. Feels a bit smoother actually. I have one just pushed in behind it. That's in. <laughs> that bearing just pressed in behind there. So there was no need, so that was good. So there we go, that's the bearings replaced. As simple as that. That's the bearing then. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. And then we'll just check and make sure everything goes back together again. So we get the bell. We'll put the bell back on, slip down through there. Perfecto. Perfecto. Get the wee screw. Get a wee bolt or a wee driver. You don't want to go too mad now with this. You just screw it in to the motor until you feel it tightening up and stop. And once it stops, just a wee nick. Don't even have to force it. That's it. Woo! Well, that's it. Right, we'll bang these ones back in again now. So we will. If I can find my wee bit that I left at my arse. Because I just left it lying. We'll get this in quick and spin it up. I wonder can you see the difference. It's one in. Spins around. Two. Three in. Let me tighten that one a wee bit at one stage there. Just a wee bit tight in the carbon. Uh, again, don't over tighten the crap out of everything. Hand tight and then a bit of a turn. You don't need to go mad. Ta -da. And there, that's it replaced. Now let's see. Plug it back into beating feet. Up, up, up. Right, we're opening up the GUI again, just waiting for it to load up here. Open the configurator. Go to the motors tab. Plug the body in. There we go. Even the sound, that motor sounds better already. Arm, and then we're going to go number one. Listen to that. <laughs> Unless there's other ones need done. There's three. Two. Four. See it there, feel that? Four. 
Now we'll go back to one. Listen to the difference. There. So guys, that was it. Changing the bearings in any motor, probably. Uh, again, if you have a motor that has a C-clip on the bottom of it, you just need to be a bit more careful when popping the C-clip off the bottom uh, when you're trying to pull apart the bell because obviously, well, you know yourself, you lose the wee clips and stuff. But basically the same principle. Most, uh, these are, like I say, these are the e easel bearings. Uh, they are, how can I keep forgetting what they're called? 648ZZ and they're 9mm by 4mm by 4mm and they're a direct replacement for most of these types of motors. Most motors with hollow shafts, 4mm hollow shafts will probably fit. Uh, there are some 3 by 8s before 4s out there too but if you're looking for these here, like I say, go somewhere local if you can. Like They're supposed to be, they're NSK aren't they? NSK bearings there for mixing. Well anyway, that's the, that's the wee easel bearing in. Now I'm going to have to just, just do the rest of them guys and the rest of it you know might as well while i have it while i'm doing this i might as well replace them now you know but uh definitely worth it uh I, like i say i was getting me twitches just i was noticing it and flying it was sending vibrations down we click every now and again i think one of the wee balls inside the chase one of the wee balls inside there was actually damaged and it was causing it right i'm away lovies and leaveys there's 16 minutes me talking crap just to change bearings in one motor <laughs> but anyway guys look take care and uh, nothing spectacular, but that's how I do it, the easy way, or the hard way, whatever way you want to look at it. Right, bye-bye. Shaboo! -bye.